I got accepted to a high school that I didn't even know I was going to. So I, I missed orientation. So by the time I got in September, I didn't know what was going on. I really wasn't going to school because it was too far, an hour and a half train ride, because I attended school in Coney Island. We had 10 floors, we had six elevators. Um, it was just a big school and like you could walk out the front door and the security guards wouldn't say anything. It was three schools in there, so it was, I liked the environment, so I was just now going to class, in the hallways, staircases, chilling, then leaving. It was too many kids, it was about over 2,000 students and I couldn't pretty much get that, talk to who I wanted to talk to because I feel it's so big, nobody's just gonna pay attention to me. I wasn't getting none of my classwork done. My average went like 5% lower. They took some of my credits. I didn't pass one class that whole year. Okay. The whole year. I would come to school late. I wouldn't come to school at all. I was depressed. I was failing all my classes. You know, it was just, it was just a hard time for me. I was, I was um, disrespecting everybody, teachers, uh, my parents, my peers. Nobody was safe. My old school, if I wanted to fight somebody, it didn't matter where I was. I would fight them in school, class, the bathroom, lunchroom, anywhere. Since I was always small, and in my old school, there was always to be told people. So since I got to that school, I just uh, fight a lot. You know me as a fighter, as a gangbanger. In my time period, I think I got suspended like seven times um, for like five days each. I don't really want to be in the same environment because if I go back there, I'm, I'm just going to be doing the same. Even though I'm telling myself I'm, I, I want to change, I know personally, I know myself and I know that if I go back there, I'm just going to do the same thing over and over and over. So after, you know, June hit, because I was supposed to graduate actually in June, and when June hit and I realized I didn't have enough credits to graduate, you know, it hit me like everybody I came to school with and I came to the school with is leaving me. It was even a time I had to go back to like a 10th grade class and. You know, everybody was looking at me, and I have facial hair, and everybody looks like little children. I was, I was, I was already a job, I ain't go to school for like three months, four months straight. I hated my situation, and what even make it worse, made it worse was the time that I tell, explained that, you know, my father passed in June. Father fought very hard to stay in my life for years now, for years, and stuck with me, and always try to mold me, as in as an individual and try to make me a man and also try to make me a soldier that he wants me to be. So, you know, I don't want to just, you know, since he's no longer here, I'm not going to just give up on what he's trying to mold out of me. When I saw my mother sitting next to my lawyer, crying her eyes off, looking at me, just holding, what was it, holding, holding a Bible and her, her rosaries in her hand. It just woke me up and I was like, listen, I looked around me and I was like, where's my friends? I used to take the three train um, home and back and forth from school. And when you get out the train, uh, the, the train station, this is the first thing you see. So I would always read the, ba I would always read the banner and the requirements. It says that it helps out students 17 plus to try to, to try to get their um, high school diploma and you can get more credits than, you know, regular schools. Instead of earning 14 credits a year, we get a chance to earn about 18 to 22 credits. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what helped because if I would have stayed in my old school, I probably would have had to do like three whole years. They offer the online classes, which is easier for me since I spend most of my time on the computer. I come in the day, I do my classes after school. If I'm not working, I do um, my online classes. So as you see, it's a small setting, so it's really nowhere you can hang out. Lincoln is like four times the size of the school. You can't be in the halls. You have to go to class. You cannot leave. It's like once you're in the building, you're in here till 2.50. So, And if you do walk out, you have to come back with a parent or a guardian. When I came to this setting, it's like you know they already tell you from the beginning. You're not here to fool around. If you're serious and you want to be serious, this is what you're here for. So from the time I came here, I sort of got back into the academic setting because I was never like a, like a dumb child, you should say. It's just, you know, the social, the socializing was what was getting to me. Most of the students in here are grown-ups. So it, it's, it's basically like if you, it's, if you choose to fail, then that's, it's your life. 
I just look at it as, as this is my second chance. So everything that I did before, it was like I couldn't really do now, especially if I wanted to graduate. The teachers, they're more one-on-one -on -one with you. At the other, in my other school is more, they're less direct. It's, they're talking to you as a whole. You know, you'll come to the teacher after, like, can you help me? But then there's another class coming in. They would actually, you know, check up on you every week. They would actually be on you if you don't come to school. They actually give you an opportunity to show what you're capable of instead of just judging you on what you used to be. Another thing, the school uses pupil paths, so even if you don't have time to talk to your teacher in here, pupil path still keeps you on track. You can always come back to your teacher. And they lay it down for you, like, the other day I just asked them to like pull down my whole, um, everything, like exactly what, everything I need done, my credits and everything. And he like took out a whole sheet and he was like telling me everything. So now I know how many credits I need, like I'm on the right track. I mean, they also give you a lot, lots of incentives um, for being a, an honor roll student. And I mean, they take you out on, they give you free movie tickets. They take you out on overnight trips, they, you know, they give you a job if you um, if your, your grades are good enough. Like they literally put money in your pocket if you do good in school. Just the 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 ambition in here, like you feel it. Like everybody's doing what they have to do, and it's, that makes you wanna do it too. Like that makes you wanna graduate. So it's basically you're a product of the environment. And if this, these type of people are like people that who are going to motivate you to do better, that's the type of environment that I want to be surrounded by. It's a good feeling that I'm going to be finished with school. I can get my family off my back now that I'm graduating high school. I didn't think about college until I got to this school. College wasn't even an option before I, got, before I came to this school. I just wanted to graduate. It feels kind of good because, you know, I've applied to colleges. You know, I'm starting to hear back from some, so, you know, I'm already seeing that my future is looking brighter than it was a year ago.